all you beautiful people. It is I, ASP. And as you can see from the title of the video, is this the end for ASP? We have some right bright sparks in the comments section telling me the channel's dead now Belfield's been done for. But the pigeon, in all reality, is only just gotten started. There's plenty of things to talk about in this world other than an absolute loon, a convicted stalker, if you like, because that's where we're at, that's what he is. Don't you worry about that. The pigeon has got more subjects in his sight, shall we say. And yeah, we'll have plenty more things to discuss. I am sure about that. And don't forget, we have the good news. But not done that for a while, have I? The good news. We've got to bring that back, haven't we? Starting on the 17th of September. There'll be some good, good news then, I think, personally. So I apologise profusely for the lack of live that I promised to do over the weekend. Unfortunately, my wife wasn't very well. So, you know, I thought I'd spend time with the kids, chill out, relax. Recharge myself whilst the kids are screaming and shouting and fighting over the littlest things. <laughs> but hey, I try and recharge. Did what I did. Did the best that I could. Here we are. So yeah, there's plenty of fish in the sea. You've got the Freds. Right said Fred, deeply dippy they are. That's a subject we can touch on. There's also plenty of conspiracy theorists out there we can touch on. People who post the most baseless things without any facts backing it up whatsoever. Just words. Just a word salad of BS. Don't know why they do it. I don't know what they get out of it. I'm assuming they must get some sort of pay-per-click revenue from it or somewhere along the lines. And let's not forget, the story continues with the convicted stalker, Alex Belfield. He this morning told everyone he was doing Eastbourne, and this afternoon he told everyone he's not doing Eastbourne. But I knew this morning, when he told everyone he was doing it, he wasn't doing it. There you go. Lad couldn't lie straight if his life depended on it. Seriously. He gives Pinocchio a good image, does that man, in my view. As for content, new content, we can talk about James Melville. It's never been about your safety. It's about stealing assets and control. It's going to get worse. A lot worse. This isn't a conspiracy theory. It's a harsh reality. So if you haven't woken up to this yet, I urge you to do so before it's too late. Full stop. There it is, an absolute batshit crazy tweet with no context, no depth, no explanation, nothing. Just BS words that some people, for some reason, latch onto and lap it up. Like a lapdog. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Show me some actual proof of what you're trying to tell me, and I might start looking into it, but you give no nothing. You give nothing at all. Or oh, this nugget from Right Said Fred. No one can say they weren't warned. But hey, it's just a conspiracy theory. Now my five-year-old knew when all the pandemic kicked off and lots of money was pumped in to support in the pandemic and furlough and everything else, even she understood that is going to bring out a recession when we come out of the pandemic. It's obviously going to happen. It's not shock. The Freds, show me one tweet from the last two years where you've said all this will happen. From two years ago, about gas prices. not Because gas prices is down to the war, nothing else. Just more BS, without any proof. No one can say they weren't warned. Show me the warning signs, Freds. What did you say two years ago to prove your point? Nothing. Deeply dippy. So as I say, there's plenty of stuff out there. Plenty of people out there chatting absolute nonsense with no proof, just grifting away with zero context, zero proof, zero source. They only believe what they want to believe and disbelieve the rest. That's a lyric from somewhere, isn't it? Definitely a lyric from a song that. Oh, it's Henry's cat. He knows everything about nothing and not too much about that. Ooh, Henry's. Henry's. You must know Henry's cat. So yeah, the biggest conspiracy theory in the world ever, I think, was Henry's cat. Most definitely. He was the pinnacle of conspiracy theorists. He knew everything about nothing, but not too much about that. Said it all, really. The Henry's cat movement. We shall rename it from conspiracy theories to the Henry's cat movement. I don't know if you guys have heard of the Creaky Blinder. I love his stuff. He's very dry and brilliant at what he does. And he picks up on uh, flat earthers and creationists and rips them apart in his own little way. And I'm not going to copy that because that's not how it works. But I, I really admire his work, like what he does, like his channel. I think this channel, ASP, will be like the Creaky Blinder, but for 
conspiracy theorists, drifters, and yeah, unsavoury types really, who prey on easy targets. That's the way I see it anyway. And if you all want to get involved and let me know what you want to uh, see on these videos, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. It's your community. So yeah, ASP still here, still will be here. And on the 16th, 17th of September, I'll be here quite a lot, I do believe. So yeah, some people are losing their minds right now because they think judges and juries were bought. Not my words, it's all over the internet, especially on a secret VOR club forum. I've seen the screenshots. You should all be very careful, really, because that's not impenetrable. And I'm sure people are watching very interestingly at all your comments about bought juries and judges and stuff like that. It's pretty much baseless, shocking things to say, if you ask me. But hey ho, you know, your IP address isn't secure behind that paywall, don't you worry about that. Just keep digging yourself a hole. Anyone who believes that hype is absolutely start raving mad. This country is not a third world country. This country does not have bent courts, bent juries, or bent judges. And I don't think you can even think that way, really. So I'm sure you guys will feed back and tell me what you want to see on the channel, what you want us to cover, and even get some help or feedback from yourselves. Lives, I do want to do more lives, but, but unfortunately, the biggest stumbling block for lives for me is my own free time. This is not my job. Don't get paid for it. Not monetized. It's something I do in my free time at the end of the day when I finish doing what I need to do. And sometimes that's quite late. So, you know, kids and family come first, then spare time to do lives. So as and when I can do them, I'll do them. Probably like the other ones, they'll be hastily done. Like I won't be able to tell you in advance when it's going to happen. It'll be when I find free time. And hopefully you'll all join in and hopefully people will get on board and join the chat in a video chat or a, or a voice chat on the channel. It's great to hear people have their say on things, not all Belfield, other things that you're concerned about or want the channel to discuss and cover. We can do that and I'll go away and make videos about those subjects. I do love the community we've got. Genuinely, it's an honest community, an open community. People are blocked from this channel. I'm not going to lie, but that's when they go too far and say pretty disgusting stuff. Then they're gone. But otherwise, if you're civil, as you can be, and you know, you're still there. Anglo-Saxon, for instance, still comes along, still has his say. I don't shut up on everybody, just people with a potty mouth who don't know when to stop and where the line is. Then, then you, you're blocked. Simple as that. Also, moderators. I try and read every comment and like every comment. And for the first two days, that's easy, but then it goes mad and I'm busy losing and I lose time and lose track of where I'm at. I do read all comments, honestly I do, um, but maybe it's time the Pigeon got some moderators, who knows. As I say, I love the community, I'm proud of it, I'm proud of all of you. You all got the right, or the same, I say it's right, the same frame of mind as me, same vision on life, the same outlook on life, the same rights and wrongs. So yeah, let's hope it continues, we can have some good chats, some good lives, and some good content in the future about other subjects. So I've waffled on far too long. It's 10.30 at night. It's been a long one, but we got there in the end, didn't we? If you follow the pigeon for the right reasons, just remember you were on the right side of history. Yeah, remember that. You're on the right side of history. Well done. Have a great week. Chat soon. Peace. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.